What's up guys? Tyler Endress here again with another unboxing here at the Esports Arena brand new studios in Irvine, California. And I've got the Xbox Series S, $299 Xbox Series S. That's a steal for this incredible machine. And why is it incredible? We're about to find out because we've got another unboxing video. just got uh, shipped one of these puppies uh, last week and Luke started opening it and then stopped himself because he realized we need to go viral again and do a Tyler Endress unboxing video. Isn't that right, Luke? Very accurate. That is right. It's only $299. Same price as the Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch, I love the Nintendo Switch. It is seriously awesome, but it's not for competitive gaming, right? First person shooters, um, I think the best thing that is for a first-person shooter is an Xbox. In my opinion, the controller is the best controller for first-person shooters. So if you are into that type of game, um, then obviously I think that this is the best bang for your buck. This you can literally go down, I believe, and purchase right now uh, at your local Walmart uh, if they have it in stock. But obviously walmart.com forward slash esports arena to get all the Xbox and Microsoft things that you want. Okay, so first step. Uh, I like the box. It's much smaller than the Series X. I'm sure it's going to be pretty creative on the inside. 512 gigabyte SSD. SSD is huge. Obviously, back in the day, we didn't have SSDs, so games did have to load up, which was a challenge. Uh, here, they do not have to load up, right? It's very quick. SSD makes things so much quicker. Uh, it's different than the one terabyte uh, SSD that's in the Series X. So it's still 512 gigabytes, so about half the storage. But obviously, if you do want to add more storage to this, this is also just the same as all the other Xboxes that are out there. You can actually attach a uh, hard drive to this. And Xbox even sells their own hard drive, uh, SSD, one terabyte hard drive that you can even buy to connect to this as well. So it's the same thing. Um, all right, let's go through this. Features, we've got 120 frames per second. We talked about that. Xbox velocity architecture, that's huge. Variable refresh rate, okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, and high dynamic range, so it's HDR, disc-free gaming. So that's the biggest thing, I think, the difference between this one and the Series X is that the storage is huge, but then also there's no disc slot. So if you've got those old archaic Xbox games, you're gonna have to get an Xbox Game Pass Ultimate account anyway to play on this because you can't drop those games into this console at all. So. It includes the console in here, obviously, a wireless controller, high-speed HDMI cable that's big. Don't try to take the one from your cable box and run it back up or your old console and run it back up because this stuff, HDMI does make a huge difference as far as how fast the game is going to be played uh, and how crisp the picture is going to be and wireless network capability. Obviously, thousands of games, all your old-school games, the Halos, Gears of War, Cyberpunk I see on this thing. So that's pretty awesome. There you go. Let's get into it. Whoops. <laughs> oh no! Yikes. It ripped it off right there. My beautiful. Oh! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Alright. This this one uh, this one didn't do so hot. But that's okay, right? It's just the box, right? Let's give this another shot again. Give me that live view. Here we go. Let's give it another shot. Oh, see, this one's doing better. Oh, oh. All right, it's better. And now from the side angle, guys, here we go. <laughs> all right, it's just a box. It's all what's on the inside that counts, right? At least that's what my mom always told me. Okie dokie. Not bad. I like that. We just got obviously all this stuff to make sure that uh, if you drop it, it's still okay. Nice like shock absorbers here. So here's the console. Uh, I like the size of it. It's pretty small. Um, obviously, a Nintendo like Wii, Nintendo Switch, they were much smaller than this. It's still pretty heavy um, for being what it is, the size it is. I mean, they must have packed in a lot into that. So we'll put that off to the side for now. 
We've got the, just the front's pretty simple. Looks like another USB port on the front of this thing too. We'll probably just open it up and take a look at that. But it does come with batteries as well for the controller. Now let's open this box up. Similar as the Xbox Series X box as well. Wow. All right, I'm gonna go through all of this starting with page one. Oh, that's page one, starting with page two. Xbox console product guide, limited warranty and... Dolby Vision Atmos HDMI DTX, the end. All right, now we've covered that. Here we go. Oh, wow, it's a power cable. Uh, the HDMI cable, okay, it's the high speed one. I believe it's the same one, yep, as the Series X. That's cool. We don't need to open it. Ah! Here's the controller. It's white, unlike the Xbox Series X controller, which is black. I did like the Xbox Series X controller. I like the way that it feet that way that it felt. This one probably feels very similar. We were playing Halo on it the other day, and I was like, man, this is nice. Yeah, that's, well, that's clean, dude. That looks clean. But I guarantee you, some sweaty gamers out there, they're gonna be playing on this thing. But it doesn't matter. Look, you're playing on your own Xbox controller. Just get some uh, just get some wipes, some Clorox wipes, and you can clean that up. I like the back, man. You hear that? I love that sound. Just so much better than the 360. 360 controller was great. The Xbox One controller was also great, but this one, they just like the little, little touches to it make it so much better. Looks cool. I like the way the, the black pops on the white. Uh, just looks fresh. Nice clean controller. Let's, should I do this? Is this cooler if I open it up on the Xbox on Xbox? Oh, shh. We're good. Alrighty. We are unveiling the Series X. Man, I tell you, it's just like, Back in the day when I got a new console, dude, there was nothing better than getting that new console. It says Xbox. Hello from Seattle. Hello from Seattle. Hello from Irvine. Look at that. All right, so this is clearly a fan. Looks like a big old fan in there. Uh, so it can, looks like it's got feet to go up and down. So you got feet on this side as well. Uh, that looks cool. I, it's, it's interesting. I wonder why they elected to go with the black. It'd be kind of neat if you could, if that was something you could pop off, right? And then if you could pop this off and then change the color of it so you could customize your own Xbox, that'd be sick. Like I'd buy, I'd buy something like that, you know, orange, cause I'm, you know, orange guy or a sweaty green. Anyway. All right. So the back, let's go up this side. We have the ethernet with two dots we've got the usb two uh two usb slots three dots uh, an hdmi out obviously your storage expansion uh and then the power simple enough i'm not sure what this little thing is here and then that's i think to lock it right i think that's what that is for i can't remember what that little slot is there uh but regardless it looks clean it's simple i love that they kept it simple that looks real thin they say it's 60% smaller than the Series X, which I've got behind me. And you could probably fit two of them in there. Let's go anyway. Look at that. Can you? Yeah, you could, huh? All right, so here it is in all of its glory. I think it looks pretty good, as I mentioned before. Uh, the Xbox Series S, the first unboxing in our new studio here in Irvine, California. Esports Arena's brand new studio. Um, if you're a parent looking to buy a kid who's just getting started in gaming or really wants the game, like my nephew, for instance, is uh, really wanting to get in with gaming, either the Switch, but if you want to get competitive, I think that this is the way to go. That controller really gets you honed in on competitive gaming. Every Apex Legends player who's a pro, 50% of them are actually playing on controller or they're playing on a mouse and keyboard. Uh, it's good for first person shooters. It's good for racing games. Um, you know, it's good for all games is this type of uh, controller, but this machine specifically, you're still pulling 120 frames per second. You can actually stream uh, videos in 4K on this. So you can't play games in 4K with this particular one. You can play with 4K uh, with the Series X, 
but you can stream videos and all that good stuff. Nintendo Switch, you can't. You can't stream Netflix. You can't have Hulu or, or Amazon Prime or things like that on your machine itself. And this, you can't. So this is an all-in-one console for $299, and you're still getting 1440p um, picture as opposed to 4K like you can on that one. So really, if you are just getting started, if you're a casual gamer, this is where it's at. This is exactly where it's at, and it's in stock. So that's better than anything else that's out there right now. The Xbox Series S, $299, walmart.com forward slash esports arena. That's it. Thanks for tuning in, you guys, and uh, we'll see you for the next unboxing in our brand new studio.